that drinking water for 1.1 million people locally comes from the Ohio River. And this is what it looks like. But how it gets from this to this is all because of the work done right here in Cincinnati. Built in 1907, our main water treatment plant was relocated from downtown to 10 miles upstream here on Kellogg Avenue. As we grew up as, as a city um, in, in the 1800s, um, we didn't do anything to treat our water. Jeff Swartfeger is superintendent of water quality and treatment at Greater Cincinnati Waterworks and the resident historian. He describes how pollution from Pittsburgh caused hundreds to die here. Raw sewage was going to the river and then two weeks later we were drinking it without doing any kind of treatment. As a result of that, we had a lot of waterborne disease uh, around this city. Like typhoid fever and cholera, but deaths plummeted after this water treatment plant opened. They tunneled down about 70 feet below the, the river bottom, okay. and then it's about uh, 1,400 feet or so from there into our pump station. That's how we get water. The water intake was dug on the Kentucky side of the river because that's where it's deepest. How much water goes through those pumps in a day? From this pump station, we can pump 90 million gallons of water water uh, into our treatment plant. It's a part of history that people uh, don't see very often. Larry Moster spent 35 years with Waterworks. Now he's retired and gives tours at the pump station. These are the world's largest triple expansion engines ever built. From there, water goes to the filtration building. In this hallway, this houses about half of our sand filters. We have 47 sand filters uh, here at the treatment plant. These sand filters remove dirt, sticks, leaves, and bacteria. Most of the treatment plants in the country, they'll do something like the filtration, then they'll stop treatment. So from here on, the next steps I'm going to show you is really, uh, really special for us. Crushed coal that's baked at high heat becomes activated carbon. It's a sticky material that removes chemicals from water. That's about 11 and a half feet deep. Of that, wow. of that carbon. Oh my god! It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the water to trickle through that carbon bed. Next is a disinfection facility where UV lights kill microscopic parasites, which make people very sick. Is this unique to Cincinnati, or is other treatment plants use this? Other plants are starting to use this. We're one of the largest installations of this, though. Water treatment experts from Colorado, Miami, and Korea came here this year to tour the plant and learn. One of our first actions when we know that there's a spill, we'll shut down, let the water go by us, uh, and then open up when the water is uh, clean again. This laboratory is where the Ohio River is monitored for chemicals and harmful bacteria and algae. They shut down water intake during major spills, like the train derailment in East Palestine in 2023 and the diesel spill at Beckshore near New Richmond in 2014. Drinking water is so important. Uh, without drinking water, we the, the city wouldn't exist. Paula Christian, WCPO9, I-Team.